I'm Bill Whitmeyer, Chief Operating Officer, Zenos. I'm the Dr. Tiong Lim. I'm the Chairman and Co-Founder of Zenos. I'm Stephen Wan, Chief Financial Officer of the Zenos. Thank you for joining us in the business of the business of the business of the business of the Welcome to the Zenos. Zenos is a new revolutionary technology that simply analyzes the breath of a patient and detects early stages of lung cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and tuberculosis. Traditional methods of testing such as x-ray, CAT scan, blood and urine testing are highly effective but come with constraints. X-ray and CAT scans are costly and time consuming. Blood tests are not only invasive but can take days to get the results. Using breath analysis as a pre-screening tool, we can screen a wider population and provide results to the patients in minutes. This is not only the fastest method, but the most cost-effective method available today. Day and night, we breathe without thinking. We inhale oxygen needed for proper cell functioning, and we exhale carbon dioxide and other waste out of our lungs. Until now, that's all exhaling was to us, waste leaving our bodies. With Xenos, we have now discovered that breath contains vital information that can help detect illnesses at earlier stages. Pre-screening with the Xenos can save your life. Let me explain how simple the pre-screening process really is. Step one, the patient breathes into the bag. Step two, the bag is attached to the Xenos and the breath is analyzed. Within minutes, you will have your results. Hong Shang Wei is Principal Scientist of Endocrinology at the UCLA VA Medical Center, as well as Professor of Metabolic Diseases at Southern Medical University. He has been active in the area of metabolic diseases, cell therapy, and herbal medicine for over 25 years. His international experience includes programs and consultancies in healthcare management and biotechnology in China and the USA. His current research involves study of gut microbial, cell therapy, metabolic diseases, support for the US research program, and the China Natural Scientific Foundation. Now, let's welcome Dr. Hui.